What if I told you that just one password could ruin your entire digital life? Yeah, that password that you have been using since high school, it is a ticking time B-O-M-B. I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube. Let's discuss why password reuse is a really big problem still to this day in 2025 and how you can fix it with just one day of effort. Now first, this video is sponsored by Delete Me, which is my go-to service to delete my personal information off data broker sites. You Use my code SNUBS, that's S-N-U-B-S, for 20% off when you sign up. What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morris. I'm your friendly neighborhood cyber big sister, and today we are diving into the deep, dark web of bad password habits, and I know there's a lot of them. Now, the whole reason I wanted to do this video is because I was inspired by this press release that I got from NordPass that had me kind of wanting to just dump all of my tech, go live in a forest somewhere, like, burn everything to the ground. According to their new research, over half of Americans, Brits, and Germans are still reusing the same passwords across multiple sites. Okay, so y'all, we need to talk. Seriously, we need to have a conversation about this. Okay, let me hit you with some numbers real quick. We got 62% of Americans, 60% of Brits, and 50% of Germans that took their survey said that they are playing password roulette by just reusing passwords across an average of five different accounts. And one in five responses is reusing them passwords for 10 or more accounts. So one breach, and it's like giving a hacker a skeleton key to your digital life. Yeah, this ain't good. Now, I totally understand. I empathize. I have been there. You are tired. You've got 160 online accounts because by the way, that's the average amount of accounts that a normal person has. I have way more than that. I have like 500 accounts. It's ridiculous. Your brain just doesn't have the RAM to remember them all. I understand. According to the survey, one third of folks reuse passwords because they have too many accounts. I get it. A quarter say it's just too inconvenient. And some, which bless their optimistic hearts, okay, honey? Don't even think that password reuse is that risky. But here's the thing, convenience is no excuse for lack of security. Because a hacker is not going to care if it's your cat's Instagram account or your crypto wallet, it's all valuable data. Especially if the crypto wallet is also being secured by the same password as your cat's. Instagram account. Yeah, so about 25% of people reuse their passwords for what they consider less important accounts, which I've also been there. But let me just say, that's a great way to keep yourself vulnerable. That coupon app that you never use, it still has your email address. If you got a dusty old forum that you had joined way back in 2012 when forums were cool, is your birthday still listed in it? Do you have private DMs that you sent to other people on that forum that are still just plain as day. And of course, a malicious actor is going to be able to connect those dots. They will take that unimportant data from those really old accounts that you don't care about anymore and build some kind of phishing campaign that targets you directly. They might even be able to tie those little snippets of data to a listing about you that was found on a data broker website to get a whole dossier of information on you, which they can then use to steal your identity, to stalk you, to figure out your security question answers and hack into your accounts. Okay, so what am I talking about here with that whole data broker thing? My sponsor is Delete Me. They're one of the ways that you can go on the defensive when it comes to data brokers. Delete Me scours the internet. They find and remove your personal information from all those data brokers and people search sites. Now these sites purchase your personal information from other parties. Then they create listings on their publicly searchable databases that give anyone looking for a collected and combined data set about you, including things like your full name, your birthday, your home address, your email address, your phone number, and more. Yeah, it's very creepy. They just collect all of that information and make it publicly accessible. And that's why I signed up for Delete Me years ago as a customer to help remove that information off those data broker sites. So why should you trust Delete Me with that data and ensure that they are deleting it for you? So Delete Me conducts regular internal and external audits to ensure their security policies and procedures are properly adhered to. They also perform thorough security assessments of third-party tools and services to maintain very high security standards across all their operations. You can learn a lot more too about their security policies over at joindeleteme.com security. So if you are ready to take control of your data,
data, join Delete Me. Highly, highly recommend Delete Me. I've been using them as a customer for years, like I said, long before they were sponsoring this channel. Visit joindeleteme.com slash Morse code and use the promo code snubs for 20% off. That's joindeleteme.com slash Morse code for 20% off and start your security setup today. And big thanks to Delete Me for sponsoring this video. Okay, I did want to give a shout out to our German users and viewers out there because y'all are doing slightly better than us Americans. Only 25% of Germans rely on just one or two go-to passwords compared to 33% in the US and the UK. And around 40% of Germans have four or more passwords that they rotate through. Still, that's not great, but it's better. So we're taking some baby steps here. We're doing good. Some folks think that they are being clever by just tweaking the password, like adding an exclamation point at the end or swapping an O for a zero or capitalizing a different letter. So you're using this terminology called late speak, which is gamer kind of a gamer language, but it's not really that late. But an attacker could use brute forcing tools to try all those combinations automatically. So if your master password is just like my password and password is capitalized, one exclamation mark Congrats, it's gonna get cracked. In fact, according to a recent research project by Hive Systems, it takes about 20% less time on consumer grade computers than it did in 2024 to crack the same password that was hashed and encrypted via standard grade bcrypt. An eight character password with just like lowercase letters could be cracked in a matter of three weeks with just a bunch of RTX 5090s, assuming the password uses a strong hashing implementation. Now, if somebody is using a powerful AI grade machine, that could be cracked in 43 minutes. So we're talking really, really fast examples of these passwords just being broken. Now, this next part was not a huge surprise for me. Gen Z is more likely to reuse passwords, but <laughs> boomers, they reuse passwords across more accounts. So nobody's winning here. And in Germany, millennials were a little bit better behaved, but the differences weren't very dramatic. So not even worth notating. All right, so now that I have sufficiently roasted our collective password sins, oh Lord help us. Let's talk about solutions because there is some hope, my friends. You just gotta pay attention to this part. I promise you it will only take like one day of your life to set all this up and then you will be good to go. So step one, use a password manager. Seriously, I use one every single day. It's like a vault for your passwords and it auto generates strong, unique ones. So you don't have to remember anything except for one master password. I have done videos about password managers, but let me know if you would like an updated video on my recommendations. Step two is turn on MFA or multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication to FA if it's available for every single account that supports it, including your password manager. And I have done a ton of videos about MFA and 2FA as well. Bonus points for using a hardware security key like a YubiKey. Those will keep even the most persistent malicious actors out. And step three, make sure to audit your old passwords. I know it's a pain, but it's totally worth it. Replace your reused ones, especially on email and banking or healthcare platforms. Start with the most most important and work your way down from there. I tend to run through my password manager and check all of my passwords for any kind of leaks or data breaches. And I'll just keep on top of changing any of that if any of them have gotten leaked, but only about once a year or so, I will actually go through and audit everything. Because again, I got like 500 passwords, so it would take a long, long time. Now, step four is deactivating or deleting your old unused accounts. If a site does not allow you to delete or deactivate, log into it, replace all the existing data with fake information, and then just change the password to whatever their maximum allowed strength is. Create a folder in your password manager, label it as something like old request for deletion or cannot delete, something like that. And then keep an eye on older sites like this in the event of future hacks, data breaches, or updated availability of actual account deletion, because some old sites do eventually 
allow you to delete accounts. Step number five is running a password audit or a security check in your password manager every now and then, just to make sure none of your current passwords have leaked. You can also sign up for haveibeenpwned.com. This is an old school, but a very, very good website for checking if you have any vulnerable passwords or usernames or email addresses that were leaked because of any kind of breaches. You can be notified of those breaches whenever they happen and have I been pwned.com will tell you what information got leaked in those specific data breaches. Anytime there is one, just update those passwords. Step number six, of course, sign up for Delete Me to keep any vulnerable data off of those data broker sites, which will in turn make it harder for malicious actors to find and use your data for identity theft or targeted hacks. And step number seven, this is the last one, go passwordless with pass keys whenever and wherever available. Now pass keys are not yet available everywhere and some people might prefer using 2FA or multi-factor authentication instead. Totally depends on your threat analysis and your threat vector, if there are any attack vectors, what your job is, how secure you need to be. So make considerations about your own life to determine how far you need to go down that rabbit hole. Now, password security feels really overwhelming because it is, I mean, the average person just, what, you wanna watch Netflix, you wanna check your bank account, maybe order some sushi without needing to remember like 160 different passwords or get hacked in the process. But that's why tools like password managers exist. They make the secure choice the easy choice. And you have all sorts of perks these days from password managers, like you have auto-filling of your passwords into the relevant sites. You have multi-platform support. You have encryption of your vault. You have multi-factor authentication. You can protect your password vault. Password managers that are only available locally also exist. So if you don't wanna have one online that's multi-platform or multi-device, you can use one that's only available on a specific device. You have a lot of options based on your threat analysis. I've been using password managers for uh, I'm old, so probably over a decade now. It's probably closer to 15 years. It was around the time that I got started with Hack5 that I ended up getting my first password manager set up, but it's been a long time since. Now my vault has not been hacked in that time frame, and it's been, you know, almost two decades. And if a brand does have some kind of data breach, whether it's like knowing users that have signed up for their, their brand, their website or whatever, or maybe your credit card details when you've paid for your password manager, whatever it might be. If that's the case, you can easily download your vault and import it into a new manager, a new password manager and delete it from the old one and just delete your account. That's probably one of the best ways to vote with your wallet and let these companies know that they have to be secure. Now, if you learned anything from this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Subscribing is one of the best ways to help my channel grow. And I do have a question of the week, so be honest here. I wanna know how many passwords do you reuse right now? Do you have like a set password phrase that you use and you just kind of change it up here and there. How many do you actually have saved in your own password manager? Are you like me? Do you have like 500 passwords? <laughs> Which is ridiculous, I know, but I have a lot of accounts online. It's yeah, it's bad. Do you have any recommendations for tools, especially for password managers? Share them down below. And until next time, s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Bye y'all.